Hey guys, welcome back to Fit After 50. Welcome to today's workout. My name is Paul and today we're working back and biceps. Last week it was chest and triceps. Following week we're going to do legs and shoulders. So this way you guys can maybe learn a few different exercises or kind of start programming your own thing or just simply follow along with me. You do these three times a week, you will cover the entire body, throw in a little bit of cardio here and there and you're all set. Anyway, we got three different exercises today. We're gonna go through about three sets of about 12 repetitions per exercise. We're gonna start off with a chest support or row, move on to the pullover and a deadlift. I know deadlift is also gonna work your legs, but it will also work all your spinal erectors and your back. So it's a fairly important exercise. You don't have to go heavy, but we do pick up stuff off the ground all the time and every day. So getting stronger using all those muscles will only benefit us. And we're gonna finish up with some seated curls. So nice and easy. One take as always guys, let's get started. Chest support a row, three times 12. So I do like using my bench on this as I get to lean on it, take the pressure off of my lower back because there's gonna be some of that pressure on there a little bit later on when we are doing the deadlift. So grab your dumbbells. Lean forward on the bench and just roll up and down. Full extension, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze at the top. One and one more. And two. And dumbbells down. This bench does feel a little bit high. I'm gonna drop it down just one notch and do it right here. So yes, feel free to adjust anything you wanna adjust as long as you're supporting your lower back. Like I said, that's why I like using the bench. Sometimes I will actually do this and stand on this side of the bench and just leave my chest right there and just kind of lean over and put that bench right there and that's how I'll support my chest. Once again, I'm relieving the pressure on the lower back. So if you do have lower back issues, this is a great way to do it. So that was set number one. Let's get going, set number two. Same thing, three times 12. On the bright side, dumbbells should be a lot easier to reach. And we're going, ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Two more. One and two. Whew. And as set number two, we're going to move right along. Take about 30 to one minute break, 30 seconds to one minute to 60 second break, I should say, between the sets. So, like, whatever you're comfortable with, people always ask, how long should I take between, you know, my sets? Depends how heavy the weights are, I guess, and how tired you are. But generally, for me, when I'm working out on my own, it's about a minute or so for a little lighter exercises. And if I'm doing like heavier deadlift or any kind of heavy compound movement, I'll take about two or three minutes, sometimes a little bit longer. Pretty much once I catch my breath and I feel recovered to continue the next set, that's how I do it. There are no hard set rules to any of it really. Moving on to the last and final set. So set number three. And here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Up, down, two. Pull and let go. Keep everything under control. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two more. One. And two, and drop your weights. Woo. So this type of exercise really develops the thickness on your back. If you want to develop more width, I would recommend if you have one, um, start doing a little bit of pull-ups. If you have a difficult time doing pull-ups, you can always use a band. One of these bands are actually called pull-up assistance bands. You can use that to help and assist you while doing your pull-up until you can do one on your own. And same thing on the pull-ups. Always full extension, full range of motion. We try not to do anything with a minimum amount of motion, but try to get everything 
done as best as we can. Anyway, we're moving on to the dumbbell pullover. I'm just gonna use a single dumbbell. The preview should be up on the screen right now. Same thing, three times 12. Let me make sure I fit. I do have minimum space here, but it should be okay. And if I can work out with the space, which is about eight feet by eight feet, hopefully you guys can find a little bit of space in your home. All right, let's get going. Get the dumbbell up on that chest. And we're just gonna swing it behind us. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Nice full extension, and that's one. Two. Three. Four. Halfway there, keep it up. Three. Three more. Come on now. One. And two. Right, you put this dumbbell right there. Awkwardly get up and be up and take a little break. Sorry, once again, I have to apologize. This microphone does slide all the way, all the way to my chin. So the sound could be messed up, but don't pay too much attention to that. So if one dumbbell is really light for you, you can double up um, and just do two, two dumbbells. These are 30 pounds. It might be a little light, but then 60 might be a little bit heavy. And for the purpose of this video, I'm gonna leave it at 30. It's providing me a nice, good stretch and a good amount of resistance. So that was set number one. We got two more sets left for our second exercise. All right, let's get in position. Grab that dumbbell, extend it all the way up. Try to keep the mic in front of me and let's go. One. Full extension, nice and controlled, two, three, four, five, halfway. Two more. And two. All right. And once again, I'll quickly get up so we can rest. Oh, so I can rest. All right. Two sets down. One set to go. And then from there, we're going to move on to the deadlift. Now, with, I'm gonna be doing a deadlift at 60 pounds. It's relatively easy. So we're gonna to try to do is keep the pace nice and slow, but we'll get to that when we get to that. You can also use resistance bands to add additional resistance to your deadlift if you need to do that. And I have plenty of workouts with resistance bands on this channel. So if you feel like you wanna do the combination, I have actually combination workouts, check those out. I'll leave a link to those up above my head now. Anyway, you can do that after this workout because we're not done yet. We're going down for set number three over dumbbell, dumbbell pullover, I should say. English ball, come on. And dumbbell up. And then ready, 12 reps, here we go. One. Halfway. Two. 
two more. And two. Weights down. Awkward get up. And here we are. Fix microphone, fix shirt. Fix microphone, there we go. All right, we're back upright. I'm back upright. I'm not gonna be needing the bench right now. So we can put that away right here. That's a big move. And we're moving on to the deadlift. So with the deadlift, weights in front of you. I know dumbbells are small, so you can only go down so much. Make sure you brace everything, lock everything in, your lower back, your core. You gotta protect that core, protect the lower back with that core, I should say. Gonna lower the weights, basically roll them on your legs and then lift it back up, all right? But everything has gotta be nice and locked in. So, like I said, dumbbells may be a little light for you. So if you do have bands, use the bands to give you a little bit more resistance. Obviously with the band, you're not gonna have a lot of resistance lifting off the ground because there's no stretch on the band. Then once you come up, you'll get most of that resistance. So let me roll these over. Same thing, we're going for three sets of 12. Oh, that was a lazy way to move over dumbbells, but effective. Anyway, here we go. You guys ready to go? Three sets of 12. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, Five, these are two more. One. And two. And since these are dumbbells, I can put them down on the bench right here. So yes, this does work your legs. But yes, it also works your entire back. That's why it's so crucial that you don't rouse your shoulders. Keep everything as possible and as locked as you can, as possibly locked as you can, I should say. Something like that. You know, so nice and even, nice and straight. Grab those weights, just bend down, keep that back even, and then push up, nice and even. My shoulders are naturally rounded, it is what it is. I'm trying to keep it as back as I can and keep everything nice and tight. So that was set number one. We have two more sets. Grab your dumbbells, and let's go for set number two. You guys ready to go? I'll face this way now, and it makes me do better posture just for you guys. Ready, and let's go. One, two, three, four. Tight net core. Five, six. Halfway. Keep it up. Three more. Don't rush it. One, two, one more, and up, and put your weights down. All right, that's two sets down, one set to go. The back portion will be done. Then we just have one exercise left for our biceps, and we're going to do a seated biceps curl. I might switch to 20s maybe, because 30s is gonna be a little bit much, because I'm gonna concentrate more on form and try to get those 12 repetitions done for you guys. And I'm pretty sure at the pace that I'm going to do it, the 30s are gonna to be too much weight. All right, two sets down, one set to go. Let's catch our breath a little bit more. This is a full body exercise, so everything gets tired. And the key to a deadlift, a good deadlift, is to try to recruit as many muscles as you can lifting this weight. So you guys ready to go? Three, two, one, down, and up. One, two, three, four, halfway. Keep it up, stay with me. One, 
two, three, four, two more, one, and two. Whew. Well, that does it for the back portion of our workout. Now we're working the bicep. Now the reason why we work the bicep, while we work the back, because whenever you're doing any kind of back exercise, pretty much, um, you are using your biceps. We're doing the row, you do your biceps. You do a pull-up, you do a bicep. You're doing this, you're not doing the bicep so much, but any, any other kind of back exercise, you are doing your biceps. On a pullover is actually, you don't work your biceps so much, but you do it, hit your tricep and your chest. However, we are moving the biceps right now, and as I promised, we will do incline, dumbbell, curls. So let's set this up. Yep, this is a very, very much one take videos. We just, Paul just keeps on talking, setting up the bench. The bench is set up at 45 degrees or so. I'll face you guys this time around and grab my 20s. We're gonna go for three sets of 12 repetitions with 20s, nice and slow. No rush, good tension on the muscles, not a lot of stress, hopefully. You guys ready to go? In three, two, one, sit back, open up those palms, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, one, come on. Two, three, slow negative, four, five, two more, one, and two, and weights down. Oh yeah, definitely feeling the burn. 20s is a good call. Nice and slow. So if you are limited on the amount of weight that you have, like here we go up to 30s, it probably starts at five pounds. Um, slow the repetitions down a little bit. You shouldn't be rushing them regardless. But if you want to develop, you know, have more progressive overload and you run out of weight, you can also do progressive overload by slowing down the repetitions. Um, like I said, you should do them slow regardless. Not super slow, don't be an idiot. But you know, under control, each rep should take three to five seconds. Um, that goes for any exercise that you do. And always try to get full range of motion because why would you want less range of motion, right? Why would you want to be less flexible when you can be more flexible? You can be strong here, 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 or here, not just here. It just makes sense to me. Maybe somebody feels otherwise, but to me, full range of motion is better than partial range of motion, at least for health benefits. And at 53, I'm mostly concerned about those. Anyway, set number one done, set number two, here we go. Sit back and curl up and down, up and down, three, four, slow negative, five, halfway, up, fight it on the way down. Up, keep fighting it. Four more. One. Two. Three, one more. Don't drop that weight. Fight it, and here we go. Now you can drop it. All right, two sets down, one set to go. Let's take a little break. Catch our breaths, and then we'll move on. Feeling good, feeling good. How are you guys doing? Almost done. Almost done with this back and biceps workout. Three sets of biceps is plenty, because like I said, whenever you do your back, you're also using your biceps. So this is kind of a finisher for the biceps. That's all this is. If you want to do more, by all means do more, but you really don't need to do more if you repeat this exercise. Today's exercise twice a week, you do six sets of biceps, and then you hit your biceps a bunch of other times doing a bunch of other back work. So having said that, Last and final set, grab some weights, sit back, follow my pace, and let's get this done. Ready? Three, 
two, one, up, down. Here we go. Up, down, up, slow down. And four. Looking good. Third of a way down. And let's go. Five. Boom. Six. That's it. Boom. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. One. Nice burn. Full extension. Two. And fight it on the way down. Fight it. 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 Arm straight. Drop him. That's it, guys. Thank you for joining me today at Fit After 50. I hope you enjoyed this workout. I had fun working out with you. Back. Done. Biceps. Done. Feeling good. Hopefully you're looking better. You can't really tell if don't work out. Who am I kidding? Anyway, thanks for joining me today. My name is Paul once again, and I'll see you guys during the next workout.